what's up peeps it's your boy king of olympus back with another video i know it has been quite some time since we've seen each other last and a lot has changed in the game since then but nevertheless we're back so let's go we're preparing for another kvk can you believe it it's so crazy it just seems like yesterday it was kvk and now it's kvk all over again and you know, Zenith of Power is here, and another Mightiest Governor. It's just like, oh gosh, everything's just moving at the speed of light. But, you know what that means, we're getting closer to war, so I'm going to be uploading more often. So, if you like Rise of Kingdom stuff, this is a place to be. Like and subscribe. So, let's get into it. So, what are we here to do today? Um, basically, what we're here to do is compete for we're here to kill two birds with one stone all right we're here to take a look at what's going on with Zenith and we're here to also compete in the mightiest governor right now zero points for uh, for Mightiest governor for Zenith we got 500 just over half a million points um, this city skin is uh, uh, we got groggy and number one I mean it's a sprint not really a marathon um, if you are gonna win this would be a good time to do so because you know this city skin isn't compelling so you're not gonna have a lot of people competing uh, to the extent that they typically would in a normal Zenith of Power like last Zenith of Power had a really nice city, uh, city skin and it was super competitive um, I think Groggy should have probably waited till today to put up 24 million points because he could have killed two birds with one stone. But uh, it's Groggy, so never mind because he has probably all the commanders that are on the Mightiest Governor expertise. <laughs> so he didn't care. So never mind. I'd like to amend that previous statement. He has all these commanders. I don't. So for me. Um, and by the way, in my kingdom, this is a uh, mightiest governor that's not fixed, so it's a free for all. So I don't know who to get. I mean, I have Artemisia unlocked. I don't have Tamaris. I don't have Nebuchadnezzar. Um, so it's going to come down to either Nebuchadnezzar or Artemisia, right? So I'm not a city rallier, although I'd like to be, and I just unlocked T5 archers. Um, I know that T5 archers are going to be um, required in KVK to fill rallies, so I'll probably train some T5 to send to these rallies so I can meet my, uh, my dead requirement. But I don't know. It's between Artemisia and Nebu. All right. Now, Artemisia, I love Artemisia because she does AoE. Um... And the AoE that she does doesn't get weaker when you hit targets. Typically, you get a 15% decrease with every target you hit with Artemisia. It is not so. She hits 1,800 every every one, all three of them. Although it does take her forever to fire off her skill. Um, and she's good. She's excellent in uh, Garrison as well. She's very underrated in Garrison. Um... So you can bring her in the open field. You're going to kind of have to sacrifice some march speed to do that. But nevertheless, I mean, it's Artemisia. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I, I have a tough decision. I don't even know if I'm going to get that many heads. Who knows? But uh, I don't know. I mean, you could use them both in the open field. Artemisia is more versatile because you can use her for garrison and open field. So it's like a two for one. And she does a little bit more. But you can use Nebu for rallying cities and open field. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, since I already have Artemisia unlocked. But then I don't. Ah, ah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Ramsey's. I have Ramsey's unlocked. Ramsey's Nebu would be a great rally. Uh, I don't know, man. We'll see. 
What I do know is that this season of Lucerne Scrolls is not compelling at all. Look at what is this? Archer attack? Like, give me a city skin, something. Ah, man, this sucks. Oh, well. Whatever. <sighs> Another thing you may have noticed, I kind of got a promotion. Look who the boy is. Ha 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 ha, yeah. Imperium Kingdom. The council is trusting me with the third largest alliance in the kingdom. And speaking of that, shameless plug, I am doing a crap ton of recruiting right now. So, uh, this video is brought to you by Kingdom79. Get over here. <laughs> Are you tired of losing KVKs and in a dic uh, dictatorship type kingdom? And you always gotta seem like you gotta get take some type of rules or get zeroed and toxic players and trolls all in your chat and just total chaos and civil wars and anarchy well guess what if you come here you don't get any of those things we are highly competitive we have a winning record in kvk i think we're five and two um we fight hard we give our everything if you, you could check our stats check our deads ask about us on social media everybody knows um that 1079 is the jam hell even go ask chisco we were allies in the previous kvk although we weren't successful um it's one of the only kvks that we lost so it is what it is but it wasn't because of us that we lost you know, I'm not saying anything, I don't want to cast any aspersions on anyone else, but I'm just saying, you know, we kind of was up against the strongest, you know, kingdoms in the game, but, you know, that's neither here nor there. So, by ourselves. But anyway, yeah, Kingdom 79, be here or be square. So, if you're looking for a kingdom, man, come on down, you know, 60 to uh, 100 million power. You know, three to five, three to five million deads. Uh, you know, at least 300 million kill points or more. Uh, that's the type of player we're looking for. So come on down. I got a spot for you in uh, Go 79. Guardians of 79. Let's go, baby. So yeah. Um, but back to the reason why we're here, and that is to train troops. So without further ado, let's get it. Uh, this is going to be extremely painful because I didn't get um, the... Uh, I had one call of the ancients that I was trying to get, and I couldn't get it. Like I had, there was another one that I wanted to buy before reset. And I couldn't get it. And I'm like, dang. So, I guess we're going to have to compete with whatever we got. Which hopefully is enough. Because, you know. Got to get these deads in KVK. Have to have enough to get deads. See, that's the thing. People don't understand. You got to get... You, 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 you... You want to use this as an opportunity to train and see what I what I do. And um, let me see. Let me check the title chat to see if they're done with that. Uh, done until. Okay, I'm not even gonna ask because there too many people are tied up with it. But I did get a rune, and I do have VIP 15, which gives you training speed of 20% so right now we have 30% extra training speed which isn't really going to help us I wish I could have got uh, Duke but it's not possible so the show goes on just got T5 archers unlocked so I'm pretty excited about that uh, the only problem though is I don't have any commanders for archers but I have a solution for that because this guy right here is going to be expertise during some at some point during this next KVK whenever we decide to, to enroll 
but um, he's five 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 one. Well, five 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 one. He's getting up there, and I've been uh, purchasing these which call it's every day to get his behind up. These uh, I mean, if you if you miss the commander and that doesn't come on the wheel anymore, and you know. Especially someone like Esong, who you need to just expertise because he's one of the best legendary still, even in 2021 in the game. You can they changed it because Constantine didn't used to be on here, but you can get Constantine, Tamara, Saladin, Edward, Khan, El Cid, YSG, Frederick, Richard, Julius Caesar, Sundok, Cleopatra, Ishida, Mehmed, Mulan, Chow Chow, uh, Charles, and uh, Alexander the Great, and this is the method that I utilized to expertise Alexander the Great last KVK. So it's a great way to go ahead and expertise the commanders. I wish they would put like Attila and Takeda up here and some other people. I guess as time goes on they will hopefully but uh, the thing is uh, I wouldn't use this for like Sao Tsao because he's a gold key commander. Mulan, none of the gold key commanders I would never use this on. I don't know what they should replace them, you know. But you know, of course, they're counting on people to be ignorant and go ahead and spend because they think they're doing something. Now, I'm going back on four for who's going to be the next. Frederick is tricky. Now, nobody who knows anything about this game is going to say go ahead and do Frederick. You know, if you can max, depending on the type of player you are, if you want to, if you're one of those people that want to go back and perpetually play KVK2, then you could use this to expertise Mehmed and Freddy, and you can have a crazy rally uh, with Mehmed primary, Frederick secondary in KVK2. Oh man, you'll tear people to pieces. But for me, it wouldn't be worth it to do that because I'm in uh, Season of Conquest, so that's not going to work. Um, Richard, I might do Richard next. Khan's time has come and gone. He's been replaced by XY. Um, you don't need to expertise Saladin. Never spend money on Edward. Um maybe i'd get constantine to five five one one that's about all you need to do with him so i might go to constantine to get him five five one one and then maybe do richard i don't know i haven't decided yet <sighs> so a little trick I use is to train a whole bunch of T4s, T4s first and just upgrade my T4s to T5s. It's much, 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 much cheaper to do it that way. Whew. I wish I had the gems to go ahead and... Oh, wait, what am I doing? I'm tripping. <laughs> Duh. Common sense. Six days. Oof. That's a lot of days. You got to be careful with this too, because if you're not careful, you can mess around and actually actually train them, the T5s directly from here. <laughs> I did that uh, before, and I got like super clapped. It was not a good experience at all. So you got to be careful so that you don't accidentally do that. Try not to use up all, all of the everything at the same time either, because I do want to have something left. Let's 
55. Boom. Did I use up all my expansions that quick? So 100,000, five at a time. takes a lot to do this you got to save up speed ups for a long time and you got to be careful how you use them even when you do this The other reason why this is useful is because you don't want to have too many of different troop types in your city at one time. Now, T5s are notoriously expensive to heal and maintain, so a lot of people don't keep, um, at least free to play players, don't keep a ton of them on deck because they're only really good for, um, you know, field fighting and certain events and things like that, but this is the most um, T5s I probably will have had ever because I just actually got them last KVK so taking them for us at advance spin this KVK gotta make sure I have a ton of them Oof. What I'm not looking forward to, though, is these hospital bills. Nasty. Alright. Let's get some infantry going. One, two, three, four, five. Let's get this infantry going, guys. Yeah, this is how you do it. Textbook. I'm excited to see what new infantry commanders they come out with. Um, let me cut the music off. Should have probably been did that. Hope I don't spend all this stuff on Guan. And then. New commanders drop that make him obsolete. That would be a nightmare for me. Just that quick, huh? Wow, okay. Well. <sighs> One, two, three, four, five. Oops, didn't mean to use six. Before every KVK, you should do this. Trust me, you're going to love it. Do, 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 do. 
hope everybody's doing well out there and killing it and doing everything that they got to do in game. I know I'm going to wish I would have got Duke at some point going through all this, but hey, sometimes you got to do what you got to do out here. Didn't have time to wait for the Duke. So we'll see. All right. So we got, hmm. should we do archers? Eh, eh, I don't really want to do archers. Mm. Uh, I'll do one march of archers, one full march, and that's it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, ten. So that's a hundred thousand. Interesting. This should be less days. Yeah, three days. Okay. I'm like, why is it acting like more days? This is the long way. <laughs> Dang, this is the long way. I hate these. Well, guess you gotta do what you gotta do out here. Powering up. Let's go, baby. Like and subscribe. Getting ready. All right, 120. It's not quite enough. All right, I guess I'll do 40 more. Bang. Whew. Well, I think we're good. We'll probably train some more when we get to KVK, but this was a nice little push. We won't by any means be writing home about that or winning any events, but wow. 
I put up 35 million points in Mightiest Governor, and I'm only second place. <laughs> Figures. <laughs> Who is first? Oh my god. Wow. Alrighty. That is interesting. 80 million points. That's like three times as many troops as I trained. I'm going to have to train some more because I don't like that. Not because I need to or want to, but... God, Lee. I mean, what the heck is this dude's deal? Well, <laughs> can't win them all. Alright, Mightiest Governor. So, Zenith, of course, obviously. Get my little five gold heads. Where I'm at? 18! Wow! <laughs> that is outrageous! Oh, wow. Alright, well, we're not going to get one, because... Well, let's just stop for a moment to really put this into perspective. You just watched me train 35 million points worth of T5 troops in Mightiest Governor. In Zenith, that only got me 4 million points. Groggy put up 24 million points, which means he's trained... I don't even want to know what that is. 24, 4 goes into 24 6 times. So he had to train 6 times the amount of troops I just trained. And I'm going to say I trained, what, 200,000 of each troop type except for archers. 200 something thousand, another march. Yeah, so it's like, a, yeah, basically another march, like 210,000. So, uh, times two plus 120. I think I trained like 540,000 troops just now, which is really nothing in the grand scheme of things, but it was enough for 18th. <laughs> I still got a long ways to go. I'm going to have to train a million troops. I don't know how I'm going to get the speed ups or the troop expansions to do that. But I got to figure it out between now and somewhere else. But right now, I don't have the time. But if you like Rise of Kingdoms, like and subscribe. We'll be back making a series of videos. And we'll get prepared for KVK, baby. Let's go.